For the first skill to be two players at the same time, we have this one done by Air9, which is not that difficult to pull out and very effective too. To do this skill right, you should be doing it while standing still or at a very low speed. It is in this situation that it will work the best. Also, when you start the move, the bow should be on the side of your strong foot or the foot with which you want to start the skill with. Ideally, in a game, it should be there naturally. Anyway, from there, roll the ball with your soul towards your support side. Chain it directly with a step over using the same foot to be able to position yourself for the next step. This step over is not made to feign the defender, so don't need to accentuate it. And finally, get the ball back with the inside cut made with your weak foot. Make sure to accentuate the feint to deceive the defender even more by bending your knee and dropping your shoulder right after the cut. Together, it should be like this. Then we have the famous Elastico. In these examples, you can see how you should use the skill to go in between the two defenders. For the first step, you have to push the ball with the outside toe of your foot in front of you at 45 degrees. Make sure you have your supporting foot close enough to the ball. Then, take it back with the inside toe of your foot to push it in the other direction and eliminate your opponent. Make sure to finish by accentuating the movement. To do so correctly, tilt your upper body to the side. On the elastico, to really feign the defender correctly, you should make sure to take the ball back with the inside toe part of your foot as far from your supporting foot as possible. All together, it gives that. When you are surrounded by two players, you can also use a fake shot combined with a CR7 chop. This fake shot combined with a CR7 chop is very effective when you are sprinting with the ball. You can do it also standing still or at a lower speed, but sprinting with the ball and do it will fool defenders every time. Anyway, with this skill, the one and only step is to do a fake shot while doing a CR7 shot. So to really sell the move, make sure to lift your arm and leg up to really pretend as if you are going to shoot. And then do the CR7 shot. Very important to really pretend you're going to shoot as this is what will make defenders to commit. By the way, if you don't know how to do a CR7 chop, watch my tutorial on it on the channel. Oh yeah, and last thing, make sure to hit the ball hard enough so it doesn't stay in your legs. Ideally, you want to hit it in reaction to what you intend to do next. For example, if you want to shoot or pass it after, then hit it hard enough to be away from you, but not too hard though, otherwise you'll lose the ball. On the other hand, if you plan on dribbling, keep it a bit closer. Anyway, together, it's like this. Skiers don't have to be complicated to eliminate two players at the same time. This cut done by Leo Messi is one that you could use to get away from a similar situation. To do this cut correctly, you shouldn't move towards the defender, but rather at an angle to him. Why? Well, it is to move him in the desired direction to then wrong foot him at the right time. Impossible for him to recover from that. Anyway, once you are close enough to the defender, you will have to make a feint with your strong foot to make him believe that you are going to push the ball in the same direction as you see it on the screen. You don't have to accentuate it as much as I did in this tutorial, however, it still has to be done for the move to be effective. Right after that, instead of pushing the ball in the same direction as the defender is expecting, you will stop it suddenly with the outside of your foot. This cut, combined with the fan done previously, should make the defender leave a lot of space of your strong side now so you can cut in and get away. Then, this is when things get complicated. 
On the same step that you have stopped the ball, you will have to push it immediately again to get away. I insist that this has to be done on the same step. Not on the next one, not two seconds later, but really on the same one for the combo to be effective. To do this effectively, you will need to push off your standing foot as you leave. Also, make sure that when you push the ball, you push it far enough away from your body to eliminate the defender completely. Because keeping it in your legs will make you lose precious time to get away. By the way, a tip that would give you to achieve this combo perfectly is to slow down before doing it to then accelerate away. So when you approach the defender, slow down, do the combo and accelerate away. The reason why you want to do that is that in addition to making it easier for you to do it, you will also have a considerable surprise effect. Keep also that in mind. Anyway, everything together should look like this. The last skill that you could use against two players is a drag back, but with a little scoop to lift the ball. Ronaldinho did it to perfection. For this skill, I advise you to be standing still and shielding the ball. You can obviously adapt it to other situations, but stationary with your back to the goal was the one in which Ronaldinho found himself. So to start, bring the ball back as if you wanted to do a normal drag back behind your standing leg and then lift the ball into the air on the side behind the supporting leg. This step is of course the hardest but also the most important. And to do it correctly, you have to use the inside top of the foot to lift the ball easily. Also, remember to push the ball far enough to accelerate away, but not too far to be able to get it back as well. Together, it's like that. <laughs> 